This video will explain how to analyze data from um, field surveys when we measure deep in deep direction of um, discontinuities. So um, we're going to have a stereo net and we will draw the data of deep in deep directions on the stereo net. So what we need for that is uh, just a piece of paper with a stereo net, as it is. And we also need a tracing paper. In this case, I just use a baking paper. So uh, we put the uh, tracing paper on top of the stereo net. And uh, let's have these two joints. Uh, the first joints, uh, joint will have uh, data 78 over 255 degrees. So uh, you should remember that when we have three digits, like here 255, uh, that will show a deep direction. And 78 is deep. And then we'll practice a little bit more. Uh, we're going to have a second joint uh, with a deep uh, 35 and the deep direction uh, 40 degrees. Uh, the first thing that we'll do, we're going to trace a uh, circumference of the um, stereo net on this tracing paper. It's better to use pencil so that if you make mistake, you can always erase it. So then we're going to note um, a north, which is zero degrees. Then here south, uh, which is 180. Here we have 90. And here 270. Why we do this? Because we're going to uh, move the tracing paper around so that uh, we know its uh, original position. OK. Now we're going to start with the first um, uh, set of joints, the one that has a uh, deep direction 255 and deep 78. So uh, first we will go with the deep direction 255. We'll look at the perimeter and see where we have this value of 255. So 90, 180. Here we have 250 and in between we have 255. So this is 255. Uh, we mark this point, and then next is we're going to rotate the tracing paper so that uh, this um, new point with 255 degrees will align with the line of east-west. Like this. Um, we need to do it so that uh, we can count uh, uh, deep and uh, uh, also uh, after that plot, a uh, great circle. Why we align it with the uh, east-west line is that there's only one straight line on this uh, stereo net, and that's uh, the one that east-west, 90 to 270 degrees. Okay, so now um, once we did this, we align it with uh, here. So this is the point. Uh, now we're going to count uh, deep, and it's 78. So uh, the deep angle starts from the perimeter, it's zero. And then uh, it, uh, uh, when it goes uh, inside the circle, it will become here 90. So what we do, uh, we look through the tracing paper, and we see there is all these lines on the stereo net. So each line will give you two degrees, so we count Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, twenty. Two, four, six, eight, thirty. Two, four, six, four, forty. Two, four, four, six, fifty. Two, four, six, sixty. Two, four, seventy. So we get to 70, now we need 78, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8. So this will be 78 degrees. And now we just, you see on the stereo net, you can see it through the tracing paper, we just trace one of 
those uh, great circles that we already have on Steronet. And that's the way it should be. Okay. So what we do next, we rotate the tracing paper to its original position. And now we see this, uh, what we call great circle, uh, that will represent uh, deep and deep direction of this uh, first joint of set, which is 255 uh, deep direction and 78 degrees of deep. Okay, now let's practice again and do the second joint. Uh, this one has a deep direction of uh, 40 and um, a deep of 35. So again, what we do, we start with um, deep direction and here it's 40. Now we're going to rotate again to bring this point 40 and align it with uh, east-west uh, line, straight line will be here. And we have uh, deep um, 35. We start counting from 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 30, 2, 4, and 1 in between, right? So there is no exact line in between, but we just trace it between two adjusting lines on the stereo net. So this is going to be a second uh, great circle that would represent uh, a joint with a deep of 35 degrees and deep direction of 40 degrees. Um, instead of drawing great circles, we can just uh, draw one uh, point, which is called pole. Uh, to do that, uh, we will need to count 90 degrees from this point that we already used to uh, identify our second joint. So what we can do is, if we know that the center is uh, 90 degrees, we just count uh, 34, because, sorry, 35, because uh, deep is 35 uh, from the center, and that will give us a uh, pole for the second joint. So let's do this one. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 20. 2, 4, 6, 8, 30. Two, four. Okay, so this is the point, we call it P, and because it's for the second joint, we call it P2. Now we're going to slowly rotate it to the original position, and here we have uh, two great circles that will represent uh, two joint sets, and for the second uh, joint set, we also have this point P, which is pole. We didn't do it for the first one, uh, well, you can practice um, by yourself at home, and this is how you uh, analyze data from um, um, site investigation related to deep and deep directions. Um, this is kind of basics. Uh, now we currently use software, which will make the process much faster. But uh, you still need to know the background and the theory behind it. Thanks for watching this video, and have a nice day.